Welcome to the next chapter of the second part. Beginning of work with polyurethane foam system is a little bit different from traditional way. We will not execute the corners first, but one layer of blocks around the building. The best would be if you were able to perform this operation during one working day, but for larger and a little more complicated project, it can be impossible. We will put the first two blocks on the ends of the wall, then we will stretch a string between those ones and fill the space between them with blocks, keeping it in touch with string. Please note that after stacking the blocks it seems that their level is almost perfect, but you ought to check it very carefully using a steel lot and a spirit level and if you notice any shortcomings correct them. Using a steel lot, check if the upper surface of the blocks is in a plane and that is in a perfectly level. Short spirit level check the level of blocks in the direction perpendicular to the length of the wall. If you don't set properly this level, the wall starts to deviate from the vertical and you will have some problems in corners. Of course we don't want to expose ourselves to the necessity of contrive and new ideas of the building system. Therefore you shouldn't rush at this time and a little patience is required. Here we can see a situation in which one of the brick layers is building the first layer and the other one is already starting the corner. Because now we can start works in a standard way, with the difference that three times faster and much easier. Of course you must set the corners exactly to the vertical, as in the case of traditional masonry which I presented during the execution of the foundation walls. My staff was using this method for the first time, so they tried a variety of options. Here you can see that it is possible without too much trouble to put a second layer, despite the fact that as you can see the corner is not yet built. In this situation, arrangement of two layers before removal of the corner is still makes sense. Note that for the string tension we are using special plugs, such as the tilers use, so you have to supply them at any building story. Traditional knives are no longer work here because there is no mortar in which those ones could be stuck. Before applying the foam, you should clean the blocks using a white brush soaked in water for reason to remove particles from the crumbing bricks and dust. You can work using a foam up to minus 5 degree, which in many cases is very helpful. Please note that the brick layer is moved to the other side of the wall, as it is also important on which side of the corner you will start a job, if you are right handed starting out as they do now. If you are left handed, start in the second corner. All of this is important because it saves time, health and nerves. Sometimes it's happened that the crumb falls under the block, then it's essential to remove it. The blocks are manufactured in different thickness depending on the destination and the system. 
the blocks are planet and the tolerance of inequality is only 0.3 mm. Those which are presented here have a width of 25 cm and are designed for a two-layer system, which means that we will have to stick a thermal insulation on it. For this end we can use polystyrene or rock wool insulation. I use styrofoam designed for facade with a thickness of 15 cm. In this system are also performed blocks for a single layer system with a thickness of 44 cm. In this case the system of the masonry change a bit because they use the special corner fittings. Returning to our walls, the foam we will put in two rows on the horizontal part of the blocks, such as you can see on the movie and that's it. Note that the works pick a pace slowly. Bricklayers initially skeptical are looking at this system more and more in favor. The first to the fact that it is faster, but also because contrary to what they expected, it seems that it is also much easier. I'd like to clarify that I'm not a fanatical fan of this method. I believe that any solution based on thin bed mortar is equally good. On each of these systems, similar precision is required at the outset, but later will achieve perks in the form of feasibility, stable construction and material savings during the finishing works. However, according to my opinion, the method presented here is the easiest one to do for a person who has no experience in construction works. Buying cheap blocks in market, no matter whether it is ceramic or concrete, always ends up with the necessity to use traditional mortar. Indeed, working by the traditional way using cement mortar requires the greatest experience and really high reliability from the workers and a layman can't handle here for sure and by my experience 80% of the professional bricklayers on the market have no skills to reach a quality as you can see here. And that's another day. You can see the place where yesterday we laid two layers. Today we start from the corner and I will present the performance of the corners of the building. Then I will show the way to fill the walls between them. I will mention that the foam is supplied with blocks and is included in price. The amount you get from the manufacturer is theoretically sufficient. But you must pay attention not to abuse this material because it can run out and then it will be necessary to order the mortar directly from the producer because it is not available in the construction warehouses as a separate product. Therefore the foam should not supplement the gaps between the blocks in their trimming places. Here we will use a regular form prepared for windows and doors. Please note that the blocks on both sides have locks that must fit tightly so that no gaps is formed between them and the thermal insulation is maintained. Of course, as with any kind of building wall, masonry bonding should be preferred.
At this point we have derived the corners to the half of the condignation. Next we will proceed to set the blocks between them. As you can see, one man is enough to perform this job at an early stage. In this way I was able to send employees to comply with the foundations for the utility building. You can see them on the back inside an excavation. As you remember from the first part of the course, we had the plight of groundworks there. After pumping water and exchange aggregate, it was important to make the foundation and fill it up relatively quickly, because of that the spring weather is rich in rainfall. So as you can see, in one time the team built the foundation, and I was able to masonry bearing walls in the main building so that the works taken place on two fronts without hiring additional bricklayers. I haven't mentioned so far about the number of workers which I employed in this building site. To perform this as if there were a bit complicated design of the building, especially in the part connecting the construction of the reinforced concrete, with an area of almost 200 square meters, plus utility building with an area of 80 square meters, I hired two experienced bricklayers and one labor. since the mid-level height situation has changed. From this moment we have to use scaffolding and it is necessary to carry up the blocks and cut them by the labor to don't disrupt the bricklayer's work and let them deal only with their job.
At this point it can be seen as the ideal plane was formed while working in this system. There is no need of any controls on the walls being built, just set the blocks and approaches them to the string and the effect that we received you can see on the field now. It is the longest wall of the building, as you can see is perfectly vertical, it also provides an exemplary plane. Therefore, when plastering the walls is sufficient to 6 mm layer of material, so it will consume at least two times less of plaster than in the case of traditional masonry walls, where the vertical tolerance on condignation is 3 cm. However, in practice, it often happens 6 cm difference or even more. The same when you will apply in polystyrene, you will use much less glue, so that will save your time and money.
After mortaring walls before laying a concrete ridges, lintels must be done first. I use some prefabricated ones made with concrete reinforced by steel string, but there is a many solution to this matter. Currently, due to the fact that a large part of the window is occupied by blinds, it's good to don't use lintels above the windows. Just long enough formworks reef so you get more light in the window, while the lintels you will apply above the doors. I would recommend to use prefabricated solutions, traditional L-shaped concrete formworks that's the prehistory. So this part is going to finish. The presented here system is extremely simple in execution and at the same time gives us a really great effect, so I think it is good to consider the performance of the building by this method. In the next chapter of this section, I welcome you to see perform of the reinforcement concrete construction of the by window.